uh, in which we had as resource persons the Peace Council uh, that, that, that the, the group that was organized by the President uh, to bring their views on the different aspects of the BPL, uh, the Bangsamoro Basic Law. The four subjects as delineated by the Peace Council were on uh, constitutionality, were on patrimony um, and the economy, were on uh, security, peace and human security, and uh, finally social and social justice. Uh, this is uh, this is similar, actually. Merong uh, merong mga parallels kung sa pagpaghati-hati namin ng sa mga subjects sa amin, but merong mga ibang tanong na nag-overlap sa iba't ibang subject. But anyway, I think very useful ang uh, naging uh, diskusyon. The first comment that I would like to make is to see that kami nga ay uh, nagpapasalamat sa Peace Council dahil malaki ang uh, uh, kitang-kita natin na ang uh, Peace Council ay kinikilala na may kakulahan ang um, BPL at merong mga bagay na kailangan palitan o ipaliwanan ng mabuti. And that has been the view of the um, of the both uh, Houses of Congress. Lagi namin inaalala noon ang salita ng OPAP, ang salita ng Palacio, ang salita ng MILF na walang dapat palitan. At uh, kung maalala at kung matingnan natin, ngayong araw na ito, eh, yun na naman ang naging pronouncement ng ating Pangulo na dapat ipasa na walang magbabago ang BPL. And, uh, pero naman ang ating mga Peace Council na uh, mga kilala sa kanilang mga iba't ibang sektor in the, they are recognized in their fields uh, as men and women of stature. Uh, that is, uh, that the, the opinion that they have is more in consonance with the both houses of Congress na pag-aralan natin ng mabuti at sa aming pag-aaral ay marami tayong nakikita na mas maari pang pagandahin. Um, yung uh, ibang bagay, especially on the issue of eco economy and patrimony, maraming uh, suggestion ay ang suggestion ay kailangan ipaliwanag ng mabuti ang mga bagay-bagay na yan sa BPL. Uh, in terms of constitutionality, may, mayroong maraming, uh, maraming suggestion uh, si Chief Justice Davide na uh, dapat na amyandahan sa BBL para mawala na ang kwestyon tungkol sa constitutionality. Doon naman sa, doon naman sa, uh, uh, sa, sa, sa kwestyon ng uh, security, uh, you are, sorry, the, on a, the human security, uh, marami rin kailangan pag-usapan uh, pag pa. Kaya uh, kahit pa paano, kung ganito ang naging opinion ng ating Peace Council, ay masasabi natin na eh, ma, it, will advance the, it will advance the process, it will advance the discussion. Uh, because now we are... We, are, we understand that, that the deficiencies as we have seen them, the problems as we have seen them, are also recognized not only by the members of the two houses of Congress but, and uh, some other commentators, but also by the uh, Peace Council. So we are very grateful to them for bringing their, uh, share, to sharing their wisdom, their experience, and their insights to the committee. So, that's my statement. Any questions? Sir, so how keen are you to adopting the suggested changes that they make? Well, uh, depending on which suggestions you're talking about. Uh, on the constitutional side, we will have to study it clearly. Kahit pa pa, Chief Justice ang uh, kausap natin. Kaya kailangan seriously natin ang kanyang mga suggestions, ang kanyang mga proposal uh, on the question of constitutionality. But we also, um, lahat naman ng ating gagawin dito, we is still with an eye to the findings that we have come to ourselves uh, in the uh, three committees in the Senate. And so the constitutionality, question, the questions of constitutionality will still have to be seen in context of the final committee report of Senator Miriam uh, Defensor Santiago in her hearings on the constitutional on constitutional on the committee on constitutional amendments. So of course, 
the, the fact na meron silang meron suggestion si Chief Davide uh, tungkol sa constitutional problems ay palagay ko it's very encouraging for us. Uh, dahil yun ang aming matagal nang sinasabi and to have the former Chief Justice agree with us uh, brings uh, and encourages us that uh, we should continue in that discussion, in that examination, in that work that we are doing. Sir, yung nabag kanina kung two weeks daw matatapos na yung committee deliberation, kaya ba yung imperialism? Yung two weeks, yung two weeks daw matatapos na yung committee deliberation? Kasi pinagin po kanina ni Senator Gregory Davis at yes. Uh, kasi binigyan, na, meron kami tentative schedule ng hearings na matatapos nga, uh, matatapos na kami by, I think the last one is scheduled for May 25. So I'm not sure how long it will take. But, si, uh, Again, I I don't want to commit to a timetable because maybe we won't be able to do it. While we are hearing, the points that we are talking about, the points that we are talking about in the hearing, we are still studying how we can get to the BPL. So that is uh, that is an ongoing process. It's not that we need to wait the hearing before we start. So, but again, every hearing that we have conducted so far, we have been able to get to the BPL. So that is uh, that is an ongoing process. That we have conducted so far, may bagong, may bagong kailangan tignan, may bagong kailangan pagkisipan at may bagong kailangan itagdag o palitan o okay, tanggali sa draft BPL. So, uh, of course, each we will not finalize the version, the the, the the Senate version or the version that will be reported out until we have heard from everyone uh, in our. What other hearings do you have uh, in the coming uh, other, weeks? Um, what other hearings have been scheduled? Okay, the next hearings that will be scheduled are the Samwanga and Rodo hearings. That is, uh, we are tentatively scheduled 12, 12 or 13. 12 and 13, dalawang araw yun. Pero isang biyahe lang. So 12 and 13, nakatentatively scheduled na yun yun. Uh, there is going to be another hearing on IP and the Sultanates which we are scheduling for right now, scheduled for the, for the June 25th. Uh, there, is, there may have to be another hearing, but uh, hindi na siguro lalampas ng 25th. Maybe we can hold it before the 25th. Um, meron pang ibang grupo na gusto magsalita, specifically uh, retired, uh, retired uh, military officers uh, and police and military officers and some other observers that do it, that, that, that asked uh, uh, to, to be included. Uh, so, pagkatapos nun, that will be the extent now of our hearings. Tapos na. And uh, we will then go to the beginning of uh, writing the committee report and uh, writing uh, the version that we will be presenting to uh, the Senate. So, again, uh, I know you're trying to tie down the timetable, and I would like to do it as well. Pero mahirap na sing gawin dahil, kagaya na sabi ko, bawat hearing may bago kaming natututunan na kailangan i-incorporate dun sa version na tam ng sinasok. Sir? Yes. Yes. So, you're saying, sir, at least for, for the Senate, it's really impossible, sir, to to pass the BPL here as it is, sorry. As it is, yes. You really need, I mean, given the opinion. Yes, I think I can categorically state that the draft BPL, as transmitted by the President to uh, the Senate and to the House of Representatives, in its form, would not pass either House. Okay. All right, that's it. Okay, well, I'm going to sit down. Thank you.